Hey guys, it's the True Sec, and boy, do I have a good treat for you guys today. This video, I'm, it's my first time doing a video on a paid game. I bought this game, Faster Than Light, on Steam during the Steam Summer Sale. I've actually got a lot of games and I've got a lot of upcoming videos coming, uh, like Mark of the Ninja and uh, can't remember the other, Sword of the Stars, um, The Pit, and its DLC, but this time, started off, we're doing Faster Than Light. Now, Faster Than Light is by Matthew Davis and Justin Ma, from what I've um, found. It is a spaceship simulator roguelike, and it's trying, like, instead of, let's say, a Star Wars kind of, where you're just in space, uh, dogfighting, shooting other, da shooting down other ships, you manage a big ship with its crew, with its shield systems, with its weapon systems, and it's like, in Star Trek, you always hear them say rerouting powered sh shields or something like that. That's exactly what you're doing here. You are controlling a ship. You're you are you are not the pilot. You are not, but you are everything. You are the entire ship as a whole. Now, as you can see, I already have a continue, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to start a new game for you guys. I'm not going to do tutorial either. You guys are going to have to do that yourselves. And this game is really fantastic. Um, I'm not sure when I'm going to be uploading this. From uh, the point when I'm recording this, it is currently July 18th. On its website it is on for five dollars as a deal instead of its regular ten dollars for an extra three days starting net starting today. On Steam, I'm not sure how much it is, but ten bucks is still pretty good. This game is absolutely fantastic and addicting. My, you can see your stats here. Um, Gabe likes men's my best ship, which is kind of I kind of stupid because I did that as a joke and it happened to be my best ship. Um, you can see this is called, that the, the these uh, four ships here are called the Kestrel, and then this one is called the Taurus. Uh, it is an Engi ship, which is another race in this game, so it's cool that they have other races in this game too. It's not just your average human, and each race has its own special attribute. You guys can figure it out, or I'll tell you when I see them. So, to start this off, let's start a new game. Yes, I want to start a new game. So here, we can set up everything. Uh, we have my four crew, well, three crew no members. Let's call this, this guy our best guy ever, David Chow. And yeah, okay, I don't really care about these guys. And then you can complete these to get a new layout, but I haven't completed it. Here's my ship list, so that I can have a stealth cruiser, a mantis cruiser, a federation cruiser, a slug cruiser, a rock cruiser, zoltan cruiser, uh, an identified cruiser. And the two ones I already have are Angi cruisers and the Kestrel cruiser. But for the sake of this video, I shall be doing the Kestrel, as it's the easiest. Let's rename this... Um, David Chow Enterprise. Come on. Oh, that doesn't fit. Um, David Chow. Okay, that works. So here, I have my two weapons. Uh, it varies with, uh, with your ships, but for this ship, I have the Artemis, which fires its standard missile launcher, and my burst laser. And I work for the Federation, and um, I'm not sure whether you can beat the game or not or anything, but. Um, or whether there's multiple missions, but I still haven't even beat the first one, which is deliver my package to the Federation while the Rebels chase me. So, uh, here we have easy and normal. If you go easy, you get increased scrap rewards and easier enemy generation. However, if you go normal, you get a 25% boost, your score. So let's go normal. My augmentations here, I got none, and I got no drones, because my system isn't installed on the ship. However, on the Engi ship, you do have a drone uh, system installed but you don't have your own weapon you have an ion blaster or whatever that can shut down the system but your actual attack comes all from your drone which fires a laser similar to my burst laser Mach 2 or whatever you want to call it okay now the data you carry is vital to the remaining federation fleet you'll need supplies for the journey so make sure to explore each sector before moving on to the next but get to the exit before pursuing rebel fleet before the pursuing rebel fleet can catch up tips breaches if if a room with a breach has no oxygen Try opening all the doors surrounding to make it less hazardous. Oh, I actually didn't know that. All right. So, I'm gonna just turn on my weapons, la my laser, to have its systems on because sometimes when you're traveling, a ship may avoid you depending uh, if they notice your uh, weapon systems are online. So, uh, your guides do have its own attrib attributes. 
So as you can see, the other stats. If I can't, if I don't want to cover that, um, and I put uh, Kara in the weapon system. So as we get into fights more often, she her weapon system, her weapons proficiency will get better. Uh, the fist seems to be the fighting one, and uh, what's the other guy's name? Kapal Kapal Kapalka. He's gonna get better at the shield system, and you know my guy David Chow is gonna get better at the piling system. So it's pretty cool. So we can either go to the store, which we can't buy anything. By the way, this is our currency here. And we can actually fix up our ship like this by adding, using our currency or gears or whatever, what, scrap, it's called scrap, to fix up this stuff, to gain extra energy for it. But my reactor has to have enough energy to power up the stuff that I'm uh, letting in. This stuff, I don't really find, I don't really um, see too big of a deal about leveling it up. I can manage my crew here. You can, as you can see, I can only have a total of eight people and my equipment right here. So I can switch out different guns from our cargo. I can only have four extra things in my cargo. Okay. Now, wait, uh... Okay, so... With these, these are my subsystems, so they don't, um, go along with my... This, they're powered by their own systems, uh, as long as you don't break it. I can open up all the I can open up all the doors. If I double tap, it opens up the access doors too, the exterior doors. So uh, I start losing air. Uh, for this one, it closes all of them. Uh, my oxygen system, obviously. So you can just see my oxygen level here. Um, you don't want it to get low, otherwise everyone starts suffocating. And you know, I, we like our air. So and then right here, here's my evade chance of how to on dodging attacks. And then you have a little blue oval here, uh, representing your shield. Um, that's not Earth, it kind of looks like it, but it's not. Uh, yeah. Anyways, the layout's pretty cool, it's easy to follow, and the ship looks has a pretty nice design. So let's jump to this dress and help it out. Also, if you notice here, this is a nebula, yes. And if you go here, it'll disrupt your sensors. So although it makes them slower, uh, it also screws you up because you won't be able to see in your entire ship. And assuming that a mantis warship comes by, if they actually go onto you in, into your ship, because you can teleport on your guys onto other ships and help them fight, um, I won't be able to see where they're attacking. All I'll be able to do is track how much damage is done into one system. In which case, I'll have to send my guys there. Oh crap! There's a trap. Okay, so you guys get to see combat. That is a drone. All right. Okay, so he has a drone firing upon me. I'm gonna. Have Go right under my shields with my laser and my missile right to his weapon system. Oh crap, what the hell is that? How is he blocking everything? Oh no. You have to send these guys to fix it. I don't really give a damn about the engine, but I need this thing. Crap, they're doing they're doing quite an quite a number on me. Oh my god, am I seriously gonna lose right now? Jesus Christ, how do they do you so much? Oh, no, screw it, I'm restarting, screw it. <laughs> so fast in the game and I'm already sucking so much. Small merchant, underground federation, calm channels, are talking about your secret mission. Oh, sweet. Oh, they just gave me a free firebomb. Why would I want to target my own ship? I guess if I want to get an intruders. Uh, let's go here. Uh, eventually, the rebel fleet does catch up to you, and you'll have to rush. And I'm, not, I'm they've never caught me, so you know I don't really know what, what happens. Okay, let's not have my my firebomb. It seems kind of useless as it doesn't even do really do damage. I'm gonna use my Artemis to target their shield system. This is a drone, so it doesn't need air. Holy crap. So many weapons. Okay, I got the weapon system down. Or at least part of it. What, this, this girl never moved? Oh my god. Get their shield system down. Oh crap. We gotta open up this air lo air lock right here to let out the air so that the fire can't breathe. Alright. This is gonna be the kill shot. Right there. Okay, so I just heart, uh, crap. What should we call? Oh, cr salvage the stuff for this. Oh, thanks. Oh, sweet. 
Okay, they gave me some stuff too. I'm gonna close that up now that the fire's gone. You go back to your post. You go back to yours. All right. Now let's continue on. All right, time to attack. Oh crap. Okay, good. He's got no shield systems. Can target their engines right away. Oh crap! Th though they are strong. All right, their shield shield systems are down. I'm gonna keep that on standby. I'm probably not gonna use that. And they don't have anything to to fix their systems because they don't have anyone on board. All right. Oh, as you can see here, I never really noticed it, but oh, thanks. But it your the weapon. Uh, on screen charges up with its mini bars as it's charging here. Right, so... Oh, I'm not... I'm not gonna... Okay, there's a distress. Okay, as you can see here, this is the rebel fleet coming towards me. But already the game looks pretty good. Uh, I don't really have any problems with it. It, it gets a little bit hard, and I've never actually completed it, but it's really fun. And it's, it's a nice space simulator that's completely different from all the other space games that you usually see, where either you're a pirate or it's just like a dog fight. This is new. Crap. Whoops. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Well, there are pirates anyway, so... You know what they say. YOLO. What? what? Art thou not a store here? Okay. Screw you guys. So I'm just gonna go to the exit right here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start exploring the sector. Okay. Oh. Yeah, I don't really want to fight. My hull is kind of damaged, so I'm okay with it. Plus, they're an energy bomber, so. so I'm gonna upgrade this twice. I'm gonna upgrade my shield system once. I want to get my shields up so they won't be able to shoot me as well. And I shall go to the next sector. And I'll go to a civilian sector, that way I don't have to get into as many fights. I try to stay as safe as possible. Oh, this, this is a nice place. Looks nice and simple. Too bad I just used all my, all my scrap. Okay, this is my fuel. I need this to jump each time. These are my missiles and these are my drone parts. So, oh, wow, I really want this guy. So these guys are rockmen. Uh, they're really, they're immune to fire, they're, but they're really slow, but they have a lot of health. These guys are really good at repairing stuff, but they don't do any damage, basically. Alright, so let's just buy some fuel and get on out of here. If I find some more scrap, then possibly I'll come back to buy the rock mine. Okay, yeah, I've done this before. Um, sometimes you get the same one over and over again. Uh, that madman would have actually killed one of my crew members, and I'd rather not have that happen. Uh, no, screw you guys. Sorry, I just I, I don't have I don't have a lot of fuel myself. So. <laughs> oh crap! Okay, now there's a sun here, which you wouldn't be able to track. Crap! Why the hell does he want to fight? Okay, you want you want to tussle? Alright, as you can see here, you're too close to the star solar flares will light the ship on fire and shields will reduce the, uh, the effect. Come on, come on. I can take him down. Yes, okay. His shields are down, but my shields are up. It's gonna take your weapon system again, have my missiles on standby. No, in fact, I'm gonna shoot one more missile at his oxygen. Let's completely screw him. Oh, crap. Hey, buddy, go fix that. Okay, now they're dead. I'm gonna wait for my FTL drive to charge. That's how I'm gonna get out of here. Oh, crowd care is taking a lot of damage. Okay, go heal yourself up. FTL drive almost ready. Uh, oh, by the way, there are two requirements you need for your FTL drive. Oh, crap. I'm jumping out of here. You need to have your engines proper and you need to have a pilot. Yes, I'll help. I'll help like I always do. Just gonna, oh, crap. No, I want to fire against the shields. The reason I use my burst laser to fight against the shield is because it doesn't matter that they can attack me, I need to make it so I can attack them. And my missile usually does enough damage anyways. But crap, I hate these lasers. These lasers are really, really good. I'm gonna go right against their shields. Q. Okay. Everything's functional again. 
And because I have no one to fix their crop, oh, maybe I should go into the drone system. Oh, what the hell? I missed my missile. Okay, I'm gonna start using my. I'm stop using my missiles. I power down their drone anyway, so it's all good. Oh my god, really? Now I'm gonna have to spend longer <laughs> taking down this one ship, cause just cause I missed that last shot. So I'm not exactly sure if you guys can hear the music or anything, but I really don't want to change it because in case it'll be too loud, which I always do in my videos, and I am I really apologize for that. So, these so are the rebel fleets. The rebels have expanded their search here. Very dangerous. I don't want to fight all the rebels at once. I don't know how many ships you can fight at once. I'm pretty sure it's only one, but, you know, I don't want to take that risk. I'm just scrapping it. Alright, civilian or Zoltan? It's all basically the same. I'll take the Zoltan. Just, just because we've already been to a civilian one. <laughs> Far from the mission and soul ten. Okay. Alright, looks like, uh, this, it shows where I am with a little ship running, uh, uh going around it. I'm gonna go to an invisible location because I can only go to one. Alright, I'm running out of fuel. Oh, crap. Oh, no. Get the balls out of there, man. Go, David Chow, help him. You two. Go, go, go! Kara, go! Oh, guys, intense fight. Intense fight. Okay, okay, go, go, go heal! No! No! <laughs> They're destroying me! God, I hate it when they beam upon my ship. It just screws over everything. Okay, so... Okay, crap! Oh, crap! They're going against my... Why would they do that to themselves? Go against their... Go to their oxygen stuff? Alright, there's one guy just dicking around somewhere. Where the hell is he? There's one last guy. Oh! Oh, what the... Hey! What? <laughs> okay, I guess he wanted to suicide. Okay, you go fix your... Go fix your shields. You two go heal. That was pretty intense, you know. They heal actually pretty fast, like the systems are pretty good. Okay, David Chow, you go to your pilot thing and you you go fix your crap. And why don't you go help her? I really like this game because it, it's not. I haven't I haven't played anything like it before. I'm not usually into simulators, especially city simulators. I really don't like them. Just because, I, I don't know, I just never really, I was never really a big fan of it. But this simulator, it's interesting. I've, it's, I've never seen it done before. And it's, it's really cool how you control every single system. You have to keep everything operational and running. Mm. Oh, yeah, they, they also have a repair skill. Okay, so, is there any shops nearby? Oh, yes. Yes, a nice store. Hmm. I don't really need to fix it, so I'm just gonna grab all, all their fuel, and grab a whole, all their missiles, and get going. So, I, th I think we're just. Oh crap! I think we're just gonna. I'm just gonna keep on playing till um, I lose. I think that that's gonna be the length of the video. So. Oh, okay, I, I really don't want to fight these guys. These guys are really strong slugs. All right, I'm gonna. I can't veer. I'm just gonna go up here. I don't really want to go into the nebula. Uh, I'm, I'm scared of my damage by systems. Sweet, sweet. All right, now all I need is a drone system. All oh, right. I'm doing pretty well so far. Crap, crap, crap. What are these guys? What do these guys have? Regular stuff, but their weapon system looks advanced. So I'm gonna target. No, this is gonna target their shields, and I'm gonna have to go right after their weapon system. 
crap. They had like something to block. Oh crap, they had something to block block the the missile. Crap, crap, crap. Crap. That laser, it's so good. Jesus. I feel I may die here. I feel I may die here. Great. There's a, crap. I forgot there was another fire in there. I think I just lost here. So I think that's. <laughs> I was just talking about the end of the video, and I guess the game wants me to end the video. I didn't realize I was doing that bad. I'm so sorry. Jeez, yeah, I think I lost. Everything's critical. There's no air in here. Right, the Zoltans, man. You douchebags. Oh, oh, fire, fire, fire. That's lovely. Alright, David Chow, do what you can. You can just suicide if you- Oh my god, the fire just spread. Christ. Yep, end of the game. So, my ship just explodes in a couple pieces. What's that? <laughs> 590. It was even the top. Oh, crap. It is the best crew I've ever had. Roper, Beth, Tack, another Tack, and Jun Peng. Best run I've ever had. I actually had a, another guy too. Unfortunately, he died. Hmm. So I guess that's the end of the video. You gotta go to the main menu. Now this game was called Faster Than Light once again. Um, oh, 2012 Subset Games, but... Oh, okay. When I looked at the website, I said it was developed by them. That, my bad, guys. Touch screen looks nice, everything's nice, has a really nice tutorial, tracks your stats. Currently it is, uh, at the time of the recording, it is five bucks. I believe it is ten bucks regularly on Steam. But with the Steam summer sale, it is so worth it, and you guys definitely have to try this game. Now, next time I'm probably doing Mark of the Ninja or something. So, yeah, I'm doing a couple of paid games now. So, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.